There is no word without the movement that makes it. In a round of movement, there is word or word that has become meaningful by the interaction within such a round. Let's not see these rounds uh, on a scale of time. Let's not see these rounds as means of achievements, but according to their visibility and invisibility, as pure data. Let's not see word as predefined, but as pure data that can contextualize poetry through a medium of a body-mind, the body-mind that has assumed to be the ideal shape with its surrounding, thus the ideal condition for such poetry to precipitate, take form. So it is an equivalence for its production, the production, the production is comparable to the production of a plotted data, which might be a curve made of a movement. Every poetry is a model that can potentially be initialized to serve as data and to summon an artistic equivalence, a curve made of a movement. So let's call this movement a dance, as it may look like it. So if we call it a dance, you can as well call it a drawing, a movement it is. Drawing with the body, the, the body-mind, the invisible lines of inspiration of light, gifting it to the light again. It's not a personal gain or property, never. Yet made of sound, gifting it to light, and yet made of sound. Therefore, if you call it poetry, then we say, therefore, poetry made of light owns to no one. Its writer is shaped by some light to be the plot of significant points which look arbitrary when there is no visibility. That means when there is no complete connectivity as a whole, a transparency transparency to simultaneously be able to see the whole. What is the whole? The body. What is the body? Cosmos. So the perception of that as a whole, wholeness, as a uniform, unified being with that. And so unified being is not other than the cosmos. Body is not other than that. So what kind of data is this? How different is this data, the artistic data, than other data, once flattened? But this is, let's say, smell is being, is on a plane eight, a, a and uh, vision is on, we talk about senses, Vision is on seeing, uh, ability to see is on plane B, ability to smell is on plane C. So this is the simplest, ability to taste is on plane D, ability to touch is on plane E, and so on. So imagine the dancer crossing complete parallel universes to compose different uh, sensualities always uh, through the knowing of the self 
always able to do that just at once. So for it's not a matter of uh, calculation. There is no iteration here for the knower. An artist is someone that consciously feeds its body-mind into a layer that pours the cosmos and provides, crosses the cosmos and pro produces the poetry of this mechanism, a poetry in the same eventual shape of the cosmos.